Hey everybody, welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benna Dortch and I'm here with Ken Reed today. Hey Ken. Hey, how's it going today, Benna? Going well. Excellent. Today we're going to talk about social media and does it encourage poor root cause analysis? We've kind of all love to see those videos online and comment about what we think went wrong or what and do speculation. Right, right. And, and these posts are fine. I mean, they encourage um, people to interact, and that's what they're for. And, and catch your attention. Right, right? exactly. Yep. And mm -hmm. make you think and stuff. But are they leading people down poor thought paths, paths regarding, uh, you know, deciding ahead of time, you know, jumping to conclusions, uh, right. applying their biases, things like that. You did yeah. an article this week right, right. that was very popular. Tell us about that. Yeah, we. Ha I was uh, just looking through my LinkedIn feed and, and I get, because I'm doing safety stuff, yes. I get a lot of safety kind of videos and, and things like that in my feed. And I always get these videos, accident videos, you know, somebody yeah. shows somebody making, you know, some some accident, some crash, some something. There's some crazy but tragic stuff out there, there that are. we There's end up seeing. Yeah. There is a lot of stuff there. And those show up a lot of my feeds. And and while the feeds themselves don't really bother me too much, when I when I read some of the comments, yes. it gets kind of frustrating sometimes. Um, the people just immediately want to dive in and give uh, their opinion about why that accident occurred. Right. And uh, it got me thinking, you know, this is kind of what we do out in, in industry sometimes, too, when we do poor root cause analysis, right. is we don't, we're not really thinking, um, uh, thinking critically about what we're looking at. So I, I wanted to show kind of an example of a video. Yeah, let's look at that. And uh, so we're going to shift over here and uh, take a look at this video. So uh, here on, uh, this is my LinkedIn page here, and uh, I'm just going to pop open uh, this guy here. And uh, this is a video. Let me make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. This is just an example of a video. Hopefully that's coming through okay. Um, it's, it's horrifying. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pretty horrible. I know, we don't know a lot of details about this. As a matter of fact, I don't know any details about Zero. this. Besides a tragedy happened. What has just yeah. happened on this video. So we'll, we'll let it uh, spool, spool through one more time here. Uh, but uh, it's obviously a crane incident, uh, a lifting accident. And uh, uh, this was put up. And the initial um, uh, post, I'm just going to show you the initial post here, up at the top, uh, a lifting accident, it says, what was the, uh, what was the root cause? Now, this, this person is, is not a, a native English speaker, so his, his English is a little different, but he, he understand what he's asking. He says, uh, what, root cause, what are the root causes and the reasons in your opinion? That's what he's asking here. And as I scroll down through some of the answers, I'm not going to scroll through all these different answers down through here, but... But a lot of people had some have their opinion about what caused this incident. Right. And you can probably guess the kind of opinions people had. Sure. Right? They probably, uh, you know, they discuss things in here about, you know, poor poor pre work job uh, pre job planning mm -hmm. and uh, uh, not very good uh, uh, supervision. Right. And all the kinds of stuff that may or may not be true. Right, because they have no information whatsoever. We know nothing about this except that little nine second clip of the video. So I just put a, I had put a post up here um, uh, basically saying, hey, you know, we really ought to think a little bit differently about, about these videos. Um, I, I don't mind the videos being up, um, but we probably ought to think a little bit differently about how we're, uh, how we're doing these videos. And I got quite a, I got quite a bit of different responses on it. Um, over half the responses out of this entire video um, were in my uh, under my request or my uh, my Your my note yes. there, my comment. Um, so this is the kind of things I'm I'm, I'm hoping people. Um, unfortunately, we, that's the first thing we notice on these videos is people dive right in. We think we know the answers, and it's just well, I mean, it, you know, it creates engagement. Like we said, that's it what does. people want to do, and what what you know these social media platforms are for. Um, but, you know, you can read some of these and sometimes see people are placing blame and, right. and things like that. And that's the culture that we try to stay away from right. by doing thorough root cause analysis. And that's impossible here. Right. <laughs> it really is. There's no way to do it. And well, is there a way to make these better? Is I there think a way so. to, to take this video and what, how would you tweak it to make it a more um, useful type of a post. Right. I mean, it, it's a great post. It really the guy is. Did a, it, it, he put up a great post. He did. He put up a really good post. He's got and, tons of engagement. And actually, yeah. he answered me back on here when I had posted this. He said, well, I was just trying to get people to uh, to get some lessons and learn some things from this video. And, and I think that's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful thought. Uh, but maybe we could do a little bit better on this by just changing 
the beginning of the post. Instead of saying, give me your opinions and what root causes would you guess might be out there? Yes. Uh, maybe you just tweak that a little bit and change it to, uh, if you were investigating this accident, mm -hmm. what questions would you ask? And now we're engaging I love that. everybody in, into a little bit of critical thinking here and trying to understand if I was doing this investigation, what kinds of issues would I be thinking about and how would I go find out about those answers? Um, and instead of just guessing about what the answers are, we're now coming up with some really good questions to ask. Yeah. And we don't know the answers. We'll never know the answers to this just looking at these posts. No. But the questions can be very useful. Yeah. And, you know, so blame, jumping to conclusions, all those things are the things we really, really try to steer away from when we're doing root cause analysis That's and right. when we see these things. So with just a few tweaks on these posts, that they could be much more valuable That's right. for people to use. And, you know, there's some beginning investigators out there. So, you know, let's give them some good information to be able to go out and think more clearly. On their investigations. Absolutely. Because they people do the exact same things in real life at their, at their companies. They, they oh, immediately yeah. see a picture of something or um, they hear about an incident and they immediately, it's just human nature. Well, we talk about that, I mean, not just hearing, but when they get involved in the investigations, going ahead with their biases and, and hypothesizing and things like that versus starting with the basics That's and right. starting with, you know, all those things that we teach you in Taproot. Right. The first thing, <laughs> right? The first step in Taproot is to gather information. It is. So, so uh, we want to encourage you and maybe give you some ideas on the best way to gather the right information, and you do that by asking good questions. Yes. So, so I may, uh, as I, really I see these it. kinds of yeah. uh, videos, I'll probably have that same kind of comment several times in here and say, hey, maybe instead of trying to find opinions here, why don't we ask some really good questions first? And right, and you know, some people can get some valuable information that way by learning some new questions to ask. That's right, that's so, right. Excellent. Well, um, we can help people do those more thorough uh, investigations by teaching you Taproot. We do it at our public courses around the world. We can conveniently come on site for you and teach your group how to do this. If you want to learn about our public courses, you just go to taproot.com and go to our courses link. And you can see we try to create, uh, do these courses at some really interesting places <laughs> around the world. So you can like go right. do world class root cause analysis and visit a really cool place. And visit a really cool place. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. But if you need to stay home and bring your group in, it's a great team environment to do a Taproot course on site. And you just email us at info at taproot.com and we are happy to help you with that. So um, that's great, Ken. Uh, really valuable information. I think people can make these posts much more uh, useful and valuable for people. So um, let us know what you think. We we would love to know. So yeah, maybe even uh, in uh, the comments here, put some of the questions you would ask if you were gonna uh, if you were looking at this video and investigating this. What kind of questions would you have uh, that you'd want to put into your investigations? All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope you see join us here back next we Wednesday at noon, and um, we just hope you have a good, safe week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye bye.